Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the chain on your chainsaw. I'm also going to give you some tips so that you can find the correct information and get the right chain for your chainsaw. I'm going to make it real easy for you. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below. And please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so today we're replacing the chain on this steel chainsaw. Now many of the principles I'm going to show you on this will also apply to other brands as well. Uh, but the first thing you're going to need to know is how do you order the correct chain for your chainsaw? Well, on the steel, we have a square box right here that has the information contained in there, what we're going to need. We're going to need to know the pitch, the gauge, and how many drive lengths there are. Okay, right here we have a number that says 0.325. That's our pitch, okay? Down here we have a number that says 74. That's the amount of drive lengths that we have. And over here we have a number that says 0 0.063. That's our gauge. You need to know those three numbers. Other brands usually will have this information stamped into the bar somewhere so that you'll know which kind of a chain to get. All right, so real easy to get this bar off of here. You just need one of these kind of tools if you have one. If you don't have one, a three-quarter socket will do the same thing. So it's not a big problem. Just take those two nuts, loosen them, and take them off. And this will take the cover off and also the bar will be loose as well. Now the bar will just lift right out of there like so, just like so. Now before I take the old chain off, I just wanted to show you real quick these cutters. These are cutters right here. Notice they have a little tip that's facing forward. This one's facing forward. These all go forward. This is a very common problem to get the chain on backwards where the cutters are facing to the back and I'm like, you know, my new chain doesn't work very good. Well, this is probably why. So make sure that those cutters are going forward like so. All right, so just very carefully take the chain out of the groove. Now before you put the new chain on, you might want to clean the bar a little bit. All right, so this little hole is where your oil goes in. This is very important. I can see there's some crud in there, okay? On the other side, we have another one here as well. This one actually looks fine but you'll want this hole to be cleared out right here. If you have an air compressor, that's great, or a small tool, screwdriver, whatever, you can fit in there to clear that out. Also, you'll want to take something like a small screwdriver and clean this groove out right here. See all that nastiness in there? All right, I have this uh, scratch tool that I'm gonna use right here to kind of get in that groove real good. Oh yeah, lots of stuff coming out of there. All kinds of crud, right? They do make a tool for this. I'll link to it below. It's called a chainsaw groove cleaner. Very uh, nifty name. But you don't need that if you don't care about that. You can just use whatever you have laying around that will fit in there. All right. Now when you're done, I would go behind this with some compressed air if you have some. And just to make sure and get the rest of that clean as well as the oiler holes, okay? Okay, so I got the bar all cleaned up real nice with the air compressor. Got all the crud uh, blown out of there. I also took this opportunity to clean up the cover and the chainsaw body where the adjuster was at, where the chain was at. So we're just going to go ahead and put our chain on. Remember what I showed you earlier with the direction of the cutters, all right? The cutters need to point forward. You probably should be wearing a pretty good set of gloves to handle this new chain because it's pretty sharp. But I'm not going to listen to my own advice that great. But I think I can be okay. So just kind of slip the chain into that groove carefully. Making sure it isn't backwards. Alright, just go all the way around with that like so. Alright, so once we get that all in our groove right there, we're kind of ready for the chainsaw. All right, so this uh, apparatus right here is your chain adjuster. Now this is where it's at on the steel. Usually you can reach through the cover and get to the chain adjuster. 
And what that does is it moves this pin right here back and forth, all right, to move the bar. Now, some of these adjusters are here. On some models, it can be in the front over here. But either way, you're going to have an adjuster somehow. Now, when you're putting on your new chain, chances are the old one has stretched. So you're going to need to adjust this this way, all right, towards the chainsaw so that it will be loose enough when you put it on there like so that should be enough now that pin should line up with room to spare all right so just put your bar in there see where the adjuster pin is it had enough uh, give in there so that pin goes right through here and that's what moves the bar back and forth to adjust your slack all right, well, as you can see, I've already cleaned all that up. I've cleaned this one up as well. So just put your cover on, kind of holding the bar up while you're doing that. Just like so, make sure the chain will turn. I can see it's really loose, but that's okay. That's not a problem. And just kind of get your nuts started on there. What you'll want to do is see how much slack we got. We got a mile of slack there. Let's just get these a little tighter but not tight, you don't want these tight. Now, what you wanna do is tighten your adjuster forward. All right, so we're getting a little better here. All right, so we're getting a little better here, all right. All right, notice that the bar has a little bit of slack in there, right, like that. What you wanna do is push that all the way up like so while you're adjusting this, all right? You want to adjust it just about like so. The reason you want to push the bar up is because when you're cutting, this is pushing this way, so that way, so that is up, all right? So yeah, that's, that's about right. That's about good right there. So you have a little bit of snapback right there, right? So just go ahead and tighten these. Like I said, you really should be wearing gloves while you're doing this. I'm kind of wearing gloves, but these aren't that good for uh, sharp chains. There we go. Make sure that's rolling pretty good and smooth. Go ahead and tighten this up a little bit more. Now, after you've made your first few cuts, this chain may stretch a little bit and this might start to get loose again. If that happens, just loosen this up, right? Loosen it up so that you got uh, some movement there and just take your screwdriver and just add just a little bit of tension back so that that's tight again. All right, so that's all there is to replacing a chain on one of these things. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.